The night came so very fast, ushered by the forces of evil. It was only a matter of time before the inevitable would happen, but for now, the forest stood strong against the invaders, perhaps because the artifacts had been created nearby. There was hope yet. Good evening, everyone. Are Welcome we back to Pyro Falcon Plays Trine. Like all this darkness. Where we last left off, we had just started a new level, or really, we had just seen the cutscene for a new level, so now we are actually, you know, doing that level. Ah. And I know that I can use... Oh, jeez. Yes, this is the show where I don't do much talking since I am often confused about what's going on. Yeah. I'm hoping to beat the game in today's session. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to try. As I record this, it's the middle of the afternoon, or actually it's early afternoon. Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's only 1245. Excellent. Yeah, I should be able to beat this today. Aha! Getting better at that. Which is good for when I inevitably play the sequel. Whoops. But apparently I still can't hit certain buttons. And Pontius is just about dead. And now Pontius is dead. I still haven't seen a checkpoint. I guess I could do the checkpoints at the very beginning, but who cares? Zoya is being plenty strong. Anyway, I actually had an opening in mind for this episode and I've completely forgot it. Now I'm getting a message. Oh, right. So, all right, let's see if I can. Aha. Is there something else up there? Yes, there, whoa, secret chest. A prism of light. Let's see what the prism, that sounds like something for Amadeus. At each checkpoint, the character receives 25% more health and energy. What, that's it? Uh, let's see. I will give that to Pontius, since he tends to die a lot. Uh, please make sure that the player control- oh, I see. There. Happy? Alright. They don't have equipment in the sequel. I keep talking about the sequel. I guess I'm excited- oh, about it! Wow, that didn't actually hurt me. You know, I was watching, um, my- oh, I can't. I was watching my Trine videos again, and I realized we had picked up some equipment, and I don't think I ever, um, I don't think I ever found its description, and those are the leggings, so I think that was my first treasure. Reduces damage sustained from attacks that hit the wearer's legs. Well, that's kind of silly. I might give that to Pontius, after all, since he, uh... since I tend to take the damage there. Uh, give me one second, everyone, while I respond to this text message. And we're back. Thanks for the patience. Not that it really had to do anything. Okay, I see an experience bobble down there. But I also don't know what lies in store. So we're gonna add a weight to that. Ah, so well, that's one way to do it. There's a check. Okay. Poor Zoya. I've given her so much whiplash. Boom! Checkpoint. Now Pontius is back with us. All right. Let's. Uh. Oh yeah. Level up. Okay. Can I do anything for him? No. Can I do anything for her? Uh, I can, but I don't really need the fast quiver. Can I? So I'd rather save up for getting the final fire bow upgrade. 
I do anything for you? No. Wow, that was, uh, that was useless. Alright, come on, Zoya. Yeah, Zoya definitely has a faster walking speed. I like using her. Uh-oh. I didn't even have a chance to see what that upgrade was, that item. Ah, uh, go away! Maybe I should use the fast quiver. Or I'll just do rapid fire. And we'll go with sheer quantity over quality. Yeah! Can't stop the train! Oh, Zoya. You're so awesome in every conceivable way. Alright, what was the item I just got? Necklace of Power increases damage by 25% for weapons that use energy. Ah, uh, we'll give that to Pontius as well. Okay, now. Wait, what? I just saw another pop-up. I thought I did. Yeah. Okay, so... What? Oh yeah, Storm Hammer. Forgot about the Storm Hammer. Ugh! Uh, 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 uh. Ah! Fucking bats, go away! Her rapid fire arrows are the best. Let's say I still hear one of you jerks. So I can't swing the hammer in midair, which makes sense. And once again, I have a freaking text message. Sorry guys, normally I make sure I don't have any of these kinds of problems, but... Uh... These are actually important text messages. One moment! Okay, that should be the last one of that. Now, how do we do this puzzle? Can I grab anything up here? I sure can. Let's go ahead and break that shit. And we'll let this swing. Get Zoya, jump up over here. Oh, oh, wait, we'll just do it this way. Oh, wait, there's some. Oh, sh anyway, there was something down there. Let's wait for the our ride to come back. Ah, ha, ha, yeah. That is how we do! Sorry, Zoya. I, I I feel bad. I feel very bad now. Eh, we'll be fine. I was gonna go back just to wake her up, but we'll be fine. Alright. Oh, look at that. Checkpoint right there. See, now I would have felt stupid if I had gone back just to wake her up. What the? Oh. Like, who the heck dropped me? Ah, jeez. Leave me alone. Well, I guess if I'm using Zoya for most of my work, maybe I should, uh, give myself the faster quiver. Then again, just doing this rapid fire is working for me. Four arrows seems to be enough. Okay, I'm gonna need to break that. That. It was actually a happy accident because I meant to break all three and missed. But I'll take it. Ah. Alright. Uh, I want that experience bobble. Come on, Mr. Wizard. You're up. When games sound like you're taking a dump. Trine. Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, well, hopefully he can't jump up here. Tink. Okay, that's not working. Oh, well, that was easy. Shoot. Uh, I don't know what that switch did. Oh, multiple switches. Well, this is an easy puzzle. So if you had multiple players, they could all just stand on the switches and be done with it. Uh, 
All right, Zoya. Show Ezio what's what. The hell? Wow, I can't believe I'm missing that bad luck. God damn it! What the f- Ah, jeez. Okay. Alright. We're getting somewhere now. Ugh. Okay. This is- This looks like the wizard could probably do a lot here. I wish the wizard could light torches as well. Make this a little easier. Ugh. Spiders. I hate spiders. Like, in real life, I hate them. I'm very much a girl when it comes to spiders and insects. Just gross. Get away! Okay, let's make this easier on me. What the hell? this over here. Make another plank here. Make a box here. And another box. And grab it before it falls. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh. Yeah. There. Alright. Moving on. Seriously, Zoya, can you do anything wrong? You're so awesome. Ugh, I love playing as female characters. Always have. Most games, if given the choice, I will always I will play as the female character. Um, I don't know. I can just do an insta skip like that. Health vial. Well, obviously that goes to Pontius. Automatically restores 25% of lost health when the character drops below 25% health. Refilled at checkpoints. Definitely for Pontius, since he keeps dying on me since I have... Since I make poor decisions. Doing that should fill it, right? No, it did not fill it. Weird. Huh. Maybe it only fills on new checkpoints. Anyway. Um... So... Uh, one reason I tend to place female characters, especially in MMOs, is because, um, characters just, female characters just look better. And I know it sounds weird, or pervy, or whatever, but the way I see it, if I'm gonna have to stare at a character's ass for 14 hours straight, or however long I'm playing the MMO, I'd rather stare at a female's ass, you know? Um... But especially for games like, say, okay, now that, yeah, okay, now it's filled. Anyway, um, especially for games like, oh, God, uh, no, 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 bad spiky toy. Is that a skeleton up there? Oh, it was. <sighs> um... Um, for games like, uh, S Champions Online, the superhero MMO, I actually prefer female characters because there's much more you can do with their outfits. Like, you know, you can make a female, well, obviously this is kind of sexist and I guess I apologize for that, but anyway, for male characters, the only way you can make them look cool without making them look stupid is wearing all black outfits or at least dark colors and... They're mostly clothed and blah, blah, blah. You know, 
Um, there aren't as many options, and that's still true for WoW, because there are still, you know, all the different armor sets. Uh, guys have a certain look about them. Whereas with women, you have a lot more... I will Finally, continue that in a the second. Finally, darkness subsided, and our heroes were relieved to find themselves in the light again. The thief quietly surveyed her new surroundings. She had never been here before, but for reasons beyond explanation, she felt a sense of belonging. The ruins of the perished, as the old king had called them, looked exactly as described in the journal. Beautiful and majestic, despite the centuries gone by. The third artifact could perhaps be found at the highest location of the ruins. These um. are ancient ruins. I don't think anyone's been here for a while. Except those nasty bones. <laughs> Who would abandon something like this? It's beautiful. You're beautiful, Zoya. Um. Oh, I forgot I can make boxes of different sizes. That's gonna get a little strange. Oh, there we go. It worked. Wait, there's still. Oh no, it went away. Okay. Anyway, um. So with uh, with um, female characters, you can make them look like guys, and it's still accepted. You know, it's it's socially accepted. You can make a cool-looking chick who has a traditional guy outfit. One of my characters in the game is I actually made her a cop, so she has the full like Rainbow Six uniform. In fact, part of her made up backstory she trained with Rainbow Six because I apparently like crossing genres like a bad fiction writer. But anyway. Um but then, you know, females can also be, you know, over sexualized and whatever and it still looks okay. And if I wanna be all ultra liberal, I would say that, you know, guys should be allowed to be hypersexualized as well. Just for the sake of equality, if nothing else. But I suppose I'm slightly conservative about that, and... Oh, Jesus. But, anyway... Um... So yeah, that's why I like playing with females generally. Plus, they're faster. Like in... Ah! In fighting games, the females are traditionally the fast strikers, and I always prefer speed and... Uh, whatever over just sheer power. I like kiting enemies. Um... So, like, my favorite characters in, for example, Mortal Kombat are Sonya and, uh, Smoke, actually, since he's so fast and hits quickly. Um, there's another female I like, uh, but I can't remember which one. It wasn't, oh, uh, I think it was Katana? Whichever one uses the fans. Uh, I liked using her in Mortal Kombat. And then in Street Fighter, I prefer Kami and, uh... Vega, and then there was another chick who was recently introduced that I like too, and I can't remember who that is, and I can't get back up there, can I? Ah, yes, I can. Must not lose the experience bobbles. Especially since I get achievements for getting them all. Not that I've. I think there's only one level where I've managed to get all of the experience bobbles. That, that's what that uh, wolf coat master achievement was like five or six episodes ago. Why am I taking all this effort for one goddamn heart thing? Fuck it. Let's just keep going. Okay. Now, if I remember right, Zoya has a thing that lets her breathe underwater forever, right? Yes. Okay, good. So, I'm gonna take my time here and explore. But I'm going to just leave her nice and wet and underwater while I close out the episode because I'm almost at 20 minutes. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll have, or I will have another episode tomorrow for sure for this game. Like, comment, and all that jazz if you are so inclined, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.